I was either in a storm, coming out of a storm, or going into a storm. So my biggest need was a, for me to have an anchor to keep me from blowing all over life. And um, so Jericho, more or less, gave me an opportunity to have an anchor. I truly adore you. Nobody, you. The very first time that I went to prison while I was at Charles Bass Correctional Facility, uh, I actually got to meet Men of Valor's founder, Carl Carlson. Carl had a, a, an amazing presence to him. It was just something about him, you know? I mean, he was like a man's man. I have never, never experienced the amount of love that I've received from the uh, staff, um, the, the uh, donors, the uh, mentors, the uh, volunteers. Um, they come in to love you. Um, they come in projecting God's grace and mercy. Um, they didn't come to judge. They don't come to condemn. They just come to just love you and let you know, hey, you have another day, you have another chance. And once you come to Jericho, you come to the saving knowledge of Christ, you come to know who God is and that you're his and that you're part of his team. It doesn't matter who you are. It, it, it only matters whose you are, and I'm his. In five years, I, I hope to be and prayerfully plan to be a part of uh, Men of Valor's uh, staff, giving back what was given to me, um, sowing into lives. Um, the way um, lives have been sown into me, uh, making an investment in the kingdom of God. Um, I learn now through them that storing up your treasures in heaven is literally storing up your treasures in the people that God has placed down here for you to be uh, accountable for. There's no better place to come where the table is so full uh, in front of you of, of ways that you could use this program to allow God to work in your life and to show you who you are and what you're about. Um, I'm looking forward to more than anything else, um, going back to society, giving an opportunity to let my light shine before men, that they may see my good works and glorify God. Um, it's not about me anymore. It's about what God has for me. I've seen a difference in some of the men that would come in and out of here, um, coming in and out of the dorm, going up and down the hall. They just had a certain joy or peace about themselves that, um, that didn't resonate with the surroundings. Um, it, was, it was a world of their own, and, and, and I wanted a part of that. I wanted some of that peace um, that I saw them with, and um, I got it. <laughs>